Okay guys, the moment of truth here. My glasses, they're being set aside and I'm just gonna close my eyes for this because my Copics are in a mess already and there's not really much, um, much uh, of anything to them. So, no order I should say. So I'm just going in here blind, completely blind. This is terrifying. This is the first color. Uh oh, I heard the fall. This is the second color. And I'm gonna try and find that. I'm still doing it blind, just so you guys know. I'm being fair. There we go. Okay, there's that third color, that one that fell out. That's not the third color, I mean, but that's the one that fell out. Okay, so let's try one from over here in this general vicinity. All the way over back here. This one feels good. And there's my third color for my third marker challenge. I'm just gonna set that aside and open my eyes and I don't even know how I did this um holy crap how the crap did I end up with a monochromatic <sighs> alright well the rolls is, is you gotta use that I got a W2 a warm gray I got a C4 which is a cool gray and I got a black I didn't get anything any color <laughs> no color I was like hoping at least like the warm gray, yeah, I won't lie. I was really hoping for a warm gray of some kind, but not these two. I was hoping for like a color or something to go with it. And as you can see, like there's absolutely no order to any of this. There's like the warms and the colors are all mixed in together. They're not more to one side than the other. I mean, all my colors are at the very bottom, it looks like. And I was going straight to the bottom and do all my picking. What the crap, man? Well, whatever. That's my three marker challenge. Uh, you guys saw me do it, so pff, whatever. It'll at least turn out somewhat decent. I mean, I already kind of have a pretty good idea of how I'm going to do it. So yeah. <laughs> Alright then. There we go. That's my three marker challenge. My three colors. Yeah. Okay, switching over to voiceover mode. Here we're going to go ahead and start with the coloring. Um, I'm showing the colors there and I noticed almost right away that um, one of my caps had been switched around. It wasn't W3, it was actually W2. So I was right initially because I originally showed the W2 and um, I'd flipped the marker around when I was in the middle of working on getting set up and I noticed it was a W3. At least that cap was a W3. Um, but that's okay because it was still a W-2, so I was being truthful to everybody when I originally posted all my pictures saying these were my markers. So of course, naturally, I'm going to use the W-2 for the skin tones because skin, skin tones tend to be warm. Um, and it's just easier that way for me to, you know, keep that in mind. And that's usually how I go, and it usually works out really well. They, they always... Well, at least in my characters, I don't know. I, I don't believe I've ever met anybody with a cool skin tone, so it's hard to say. Um, so I'm just adding in, basically focusing on the shadows, leaving areas white where there's clear reflection, and working from there, because I already know that the markers are going to get quite a bit lighter as they dry. Um, so I'm just kind of working those shadows and pulling them out was kind of how I was going to do it. Uh, in the end, that's not what I ended up doing for the final piece, but it's okay because it still works. Um, it just made more sense to make the clothing cool, so I used the C4, which is done all right, but uh, yeah, that's me. So I went ahead and I used that C4 for the clothing. Uh, I wasn't sure how I was going to work that either because they're both like the skin tones I can leave white but with clothing I tend to not like leaving white because then it makes the clothing look shiny and I don't like that so I knew right away I was going to have to do some layering with the C4 um, and I did achieve a layered effect but not by layering just the C4 
I ended up pulling the W2 in and that ended up really, really helping out with um, differentiating between shadows and um, midtones. And I believe that's part of the whole challenge is taking what you've got and making it work for you instead of against you. So if you only have two or three markers on you, make them work, you know? Uh, mixing those tones, it was a scary thing because I'd already dedicated myself to recording so much of it and I didn't want to have to redo the entire piece of artwork in order to get the video correct or to get the colors correct. And I was like, well, I mean, I don't, I don't get the courage to do it for quite a while yet, but here I'm just kind of trying to layer over and over and over again. But even I realize that the paper has limits. It can only hold so much ink. And if I recall, yeah, especially in those areas on the back of the artwork, it's actually leaking through pretty good because I did try to, try to force it. And really, there was no helping it. I should have just done a lighter base, base coat and then gone over it, but I just didn't think. Which, you know, is 90% of the problem is I just don't stop anything. But it's okay. This uh, challenge has taught me that um, sometimes you have to step out of your comfort zone. I am, and I, I won't deny it, I am spoiled on the fact that if I can't get the shades that I want with my C4, I can grab my C6 or my C8 and I can get the shadows that I want. I'll force, you know, and only do it in two layers of ink. But... With this uh, three marker challenge, you really, really got to either have a good color for layering or you have to have something to offset it with. And eventually I do use that W2 to do that. I didn't want to use my black and um, I'm actually one of those weirdos who does not like having black in their compositions outside of inking just because true black very rarely occurs in nature just like true white very rarely occurs in nature so I'm not a big big fan of it but I made it work again I knew right away I was going to give her black hair because I that that was black pants like the little bit of pants that you get you can see and black hair was going to be the limit of my um, usage of black just because it's such an overwhelming color versus these lighter colors. I didn't want to make the piece completely imbalanced. I wanted the black to really pop and stand out because that's what it should do. It shouldn't dominate the piece. It should enhance the piece. And what I wanted as the enhancer was really that C C4, which is what I used a lot of, both on the garment, the garment, the garment, um, on the clothing and on the background. And then I just wanted limited use of that W4, W2, and definitely limited use of that black. But in the end, I feel like I attained a pretty good balance between the two. And again, with the hair, I'm doing that flicking motion. Um, I, I'm not a fan of Copics. Like, I love them. Don't get me wrong. The brush tips, though, they're not as fine as I would like them to be, and it could just be that I'm a bit heavier handed, but um, I never really get all the detail that I want in the black hairs that I want. I mean, because even with this black being as black as it is, you can still layer it, and um, I didn't want to do too much of that because I, again, know it can be very overpowering, and I didn't want to muddy up the piece with just too much black. So... I'm sitting here trying to plot out my, my reflections and things like that, and I'm starting to realize it's like, you know, I'm making it look abnormal just by doing this. Like, yeah, the reflections can make sense, but they're not making the piece flow. Like, they, they felt more like they were breaking it up than they were enhancing it. So, in the end, I do go through and I do kind of get rid of some of those blocky areas of reflection in the hair. And I feel like it kind of balanced and pulled the piece down the way that I wanted it to be anyway. Um, yeah, uh, again, here's like one of the things I enjoy doing. I mean, just sit down and basically make nice flowy little strands of hair. It's really nice. 
But see, I would never use a marker to do that. I would definitely pull out a fine liner or something like that for black hair just because um, I like to be so insanely detailed if I can be. Whereas with color, I can layer a different color and I can get like different effects from that. It's hard to explain, I guess, but with black, you're, you're, you have to be really dedicated for black. Luckily, that C4 worked for the shaved part of her head. Super happy with that. And then I go in and I add some dots. And that's kind of like my homage. If you guys ever watched Ed and Eddie, uh, Johnny 2x4, he had uh, just a few dots and he always had a shaved head and I always thought that, that was funny. So I added those in. Um, yes, black lipstick because I, you know, I'd use a lot of the C4, but I really wanted something to stand out for her lips and look dramatic. And I was like, yeah, black lipstick will do that. And then I do the eyes and everything and pupils and I forgot to record it because I wasn't paying attention and I forgot to put the reflection in the eyes. I do allow myself to use a jelly roll just to add reflections in the eyes and on the lips but that's about all I used it for so I still feel like it fits into the parameter of just three marker challenge. I mean you're already kind of out of it if you ink your work anyway. Um, I, I know the parameters use three markers and you choose them blindly and whatever you get is what you get. So I mean in that sense, yes. I mean, I followed the rules, but I feel like it's almost kind of cheating when I use my jelly roll because it's like I'm adding white back to it that I should have just not colored in to begin with. Um, but So I used it as sparingly as possible. I don't think it's like cheating or anything. It's just that like, for the challenge for me, I didn't want to use very much jelly roll. Like, Because what I would have done with the hair if I'd had the option is I would have just black colored it black and then gone through with my jelly roll and just added in the highlights to make make it look like hair. <laughs> um, and right here is where I take that warm and I go in and it just it oh it made it so much better. I'm so glad I finally got the courage to do that. It because it brought the piece like it gave it a dimension that it didn't have and I was just getting so frustrated because I was looking at it. I was like it's the best I can do. It wasn't. I brought that C4 or that W2 in and it just it brought it out a little bit more. And then I went over it one more time with the C with the C2. I feel like I'm getting my numbers mixed up. Is it C4? It is C4. It's a C2 though. Oh my goodness, did I get that wrong too? I'll have to check later. I'm pretty sure it's C4 though. Maybe no, see now now I'm now I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> Oh, I may have flipped the things around just like I did in the beginning. Oh my goodness, what? What is wrong with me? Maybe it is a C4 though. Either way, it doesn't matter. Um, I still did the challenge, so what are you gonna do? Um, if I had, the end of the marker from what I'm looking at says C2, and I think it might have been a C2. No, it was. It couldn't have been a C2. It had to have been a C4. It's way too light. Yep, I got them flipped around because I've got the C2 in my hand right now. That's a C4. So, again, um, me being the dork I am, I've got my caps mixed up. <laughs> anyway, so backing up a little bit just to talk about the skin when I went through a second time. I ended up, I was just going to go over it one more time with the W2. And I smeared something. It, I think it was the Micron ink. And I got really upset. And I was like, wait, I've got my C4. So I took the C4 and to kind of um, level it out, not necessarily get rid of it, but just kind of blend it in, and it worked really well. So, you know, again, that's the whole part of the challenge is to make the colors work with each other. So if you make a mistake or something like that, you know, just don't panic and just try something. The worst you can do is have to start over again, and that's not the end of the world. Like with this background, my W2, my W, yes, my W2, was running out and I did not want to stop filming because I was using my digital camera for this for a change and I was getting really excellent video I didn't want to start filming just to refill it so I was like you know I'll just push through and do the best I can with it but it is what it is phew oh man I almost freaked out there you guys um, almost had a Terry meltdown but we're coming up to the end of the video here um, I just end up going in with my jelly roll and finishing that background a little bit. 
Uh, I do encourage everybody to try this challenge. It is really rewarding, it is, and you'll learn something about yourself. And so far, all the challenges I've seen have been really great. Like, everyone does a really great job, and I think that everyone's impressed even themselves with it. So, you know, I encourage everyone to do it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe or comment below. And everybody, I thank you for the support, and I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.